all ground family welcome back to another video today i have a very important ridgeline this is a 2024 honda ridgeline sport and sonic gray pearl with the black interior the reason why this one's very important is because this is the lowest model you can get on the ridgeline and for 24 honda has tweaked the sport model as well so above this you have the rtl then the trail sport and then the fully loaded black edition sport is just where you start from. Now, starting off on the front fascia, you get the same headlight design as 23. Overall, the chassis is the same as 23. It's just like small tweaks, like I said, has been changed. You do get a projector, LED low beam, incandescent high beam. You don't get the LED daytime running lights up here. That's only on trail sport and black edition. Instead, your daytime run lights will be the incandescent bulb. You do have a traditional bulb for your turn signals, but you do get LED fog lights on the bumper. When the Ridgeline went through a refresh, it changed up the bumper, changed up the front grille, the hood, and the fender. So you still get that updated look. Each Ridgeline will have its own grille. So if you get a Sport, an RTL, a Trail Sport Black Edition, the color will be different or the design will be different. On the Sport, it's kind of like a black with a lot of flake in there. It's actually really nice, a really nice design because right above that you do have your piano black that cut into the headlights and above the grill. And the Sport actually doesn't have any chrome on it at all. Besides, you have the big Honda emblem up front and you have the Sport badge that you know. You got a Sport, you only just got a regular Ridgeline. Not too much chrome on this guy like the other models, the RTL. Now, on the lower portion of the bumper, you get the same material that's in the grill. It's kind of like that black with a lot of flake, metallic flake in there. It's actually a really nice look to it. Flat black on the lower portion of the bumper. Coming up back to the hood, like I say, you get the power bulge hood, updated fenders. You have the same Honda sensing camera as the 23. You don't get the updated camera like the CRV and the Cords and all the newer Hondas have, but the system still works, still a nice system. And you don't get the updated wipers that's on the newer Honda models as well because this is not a complete redesign. Sport does have its own unique wheels compared to the other trim levels. So these are 18s. The tires are 245, 60, 18. And you can see these are, they look like a, a sharp gray finish. I like the touch of gray with flat black. It's, it makes the model don't look like a base model. When you look at this, you probably wouldn't even know it was a base model unless you, know, you watch my video. And I told you, come along to the side profile here. You do have some uh, flat black that connects the bumper from the wheel arch underneath goes all around throughout the whole truck around the window flat black as well the pillars are a gloss black on the rear that's flat black the door handles are body colored the side mirrors are full glass black no led turn signals integrated in the mirror itself but overall though it's a handsome looking truck and this is the truck that everyone needs everyone complains it's not a real truck you know it's not rugged like a tacoma or a frontier or colorado this is, this is what most people need, especially if you're just going to work, getting errands done, but you need a bed, this is the truck to get. You Taking know. a look at the rear, here's another difference between the 23 and the 24. For 24, it spells Ridgeline now. It doesn't have the Honda emblem um, right there in the middle. You do have Honda and Chrome back here, and you have a sport badge back here, which is a nice touch. It is, like I said, it makes the truck look less of a base model. You still get the dual exhaust down below with the redesign of the bumper from the I believe from 2020 is when they redesigned it, or 21, one of those years. Each, every ridge line will come with a towing package, so you have your pin connector there as well. So I'll open that guy up so you guys can see. And then you have a hitch already on there. Now, all ridge lines are all-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive is no longer an option. Honda got rid of that, because I don't think too many people were buying that. Antenna is shark fin style, and it is body colored. And you do have this portion right here, gloss black, right above the window. You don't have a power sliding window. You have to go up, I believe, to RTL and up to get that. So once you get the Sport, you don't get that feature. But same size bed in all the trim levels. It's actually one size bed and one size cabin. So it's easier to choose a trim level. Tail lights are traditional bulbs. You actually can see the bulb right in there. And I think this is just like, I don't think this is LED. I think this is like some type of, like a mirror effect to make it look like an LED. And the reverse lights is also regular bulb and your license plate lights are traditional bulbs as well too no led back here but still a handsome looking truck now honda made some changes for 2024 in the ridge line but the key is still the same 
from the 23. So Honda does have a new key design that the Civic, the Accord, most of our other Hondas have it. Ridgeline don't have that yet. But you do have lock, unlock, remote start is standard on the Sport, panic button, and then you have a little button right here to take out the emergency key in the fob. You also get smart entry. So this little black button right here, if you tap it, it locks all the doors. If you put your hand in there, it'll unlock the door for you as well. Also, on the Sport, you do get blind spot monitoring. Now, if you're looking for it on the side mirror, it won't be on the side mirror because it's actually on the inside. So let me open this guy up. You can see you have it on both sides, the little box right there, and on that side as well. Now, on the door panel here, up top, it's slightly soft. Actually, this is soft touch, slightly soft touch. This is soft as well. Your armrest is soft. And you do have power windows, so it's auto up down for the front windows. You hold it for the rear. Power locks. You can lock the windows door handle give you like a kind of chrome finish to it as well i would thought that would have been black because it's a sport right below you have some additional storage more storage there pop the gas tank so you don't push the door into open the gas tank like all of our other hondas originally i still have a button to open the gas tank additional storage down below now on the sport this is the only model to get cloth seats if you if you want leather you have to get rtl and up but if you want cloth sport is the only option to get that and the seats are manual, so you have manual adjustment up and down, up and down for the back, and you have the bar underneath to move the seat forward and back. Same thing on the passenger side, but the passenger is only forward and back, and this back piece forward and back, and that's it. There's no up and down. So we're gonna jump in here, and this Ridgeline does have uh, some PPO package, which I'll go over that in a second, but let's actually just go over the interior because there are some changes Honda also made for 24. So foot and brake, push the button. First thing you're gonna notice is the new half digital, half analog cluster that's been in all of our Hondas now. The Ridgeline had the same infotainment system since 2017. So it was about time Honda updated this guy and the screen, but we'll get to that in a second. On the left side, you do have your mirror controls. You have your econ assist. If you turn that on, it will maximize your fuel efficiency in your Ridgeline. And down below there, you have your road departure on and off. You have your traction control, automatic and braking, and cargo light on and off. You do have an air vent on this side that you can open and close. Tweeter on the A pillar. And on the steering wheel, the steering wheel is leather wrap on the Sport. I can't remember if the 23 was leather wrap, but that's nice that this model gets leather wrap. Usually Honda keep that for higher end models or like mid to, to higher end models. Steering wheel is a different design now as well. Actually, let me go back and show you guys. Different design on the steering wheel. So you can see your controls are different because of the, the new screen. So you have next track, you have previous volume. You have a home button for that screen over there. You have a scroll wheel, you have voice command. And on the right side, you have main for your cruise control and some of your Honda sensing features too. So cancel, resume, set. You have your adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. And in the middle, just gray, gray plastic, nothing too crazy, no gloss black or anything like that. And behind the, the t um, I'm about to say the toggle. Behind the stock here, you have off, auto, parking, and on for your headlights. And then you have your fog lights on and off. On the right side, you have your wipers off, intermediate, low, and high. You also have your uh, power shifters behind the steering wheel, which will allow you to shift the nine speed automatic. The ridge line doesn't get the new 10 speed that the pilot gets. Uh, not yet. I'm assuming the next, uh, re not the refresh, but the next generation, it'll probably get some pilot treatments as far as design. Taking a look at the digital display, you hit the home button there and it'll pop up some of your menus there. So menu, menus, you have range and fuel, you have speed and time, you have your audio, what you're listening to, phone uh, settings, navigation. So if you don't have a destination in there, it'll have a compass. I'm not sure if Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will work with this. It may. I don't know why they will put navigation if it only at least gives you some directions on there when you're using the map. So we'll see on that. All-wheel drive torque distribution, your maintenance, tire pressure. So you can see all four tires, which is cool. You can have nothing, brightness, gauge display here. You can actually remove some options that you don't want to view on there. Warning and back to range and fuel. So it's nice that Honda upgraded this cluster here to give you the more customization. It's not the full digital like you get on the Pilot and the Accords and the Civics and that nature, but it's better than the previous Ridgeline cluster that was from 2017. So I'm glad the Honda updated. And then if you look at your um, your temperature, your uh, water temperature, you can see it's digital. It's part of the tachometer that's digital, which is a nice touch as well. And you have a digital speedometer as well. 
Um, I would assume that this has traffic sign recognition on sport and above. When we're going over the trim walk, I'm actually, I'll see if it has that feature. Coming along to the touchscreen display here. This is also as new on the sport. You get a bigger nine inch touchscreen display and it's, it's pretty interesting because the Passport still get the previous display, but on the Ridgeline, it gets the newer, uh, bigger nine inch. And I like the little lip that they put here. You can probably rest your hand on there. But this guy, if you're familiar with Honda, as far as, uh, not Accord, Accord got his own system right now. Actually, Accord has the latest system, but CRV, Civic, HRV, you know, everything else has this display here or the seven inch, but all the Ridgelines get the nine inch. So that's nice that you get that in the sport model. And you have a uh, phone, FM, you have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto in the base model Ridgeline, which is a nice touch to have. You have Bluetooth audio, trip computer, USB, you have your general settings. So because you have the new display, you have the new setting display as well too. Look at it, it's a picture of a Ridgeline. They didn't reuse it from like from the Civic because it started, started in the Civic, which is really nice. And then you have auto door lock, auto door unlock, you have tailgate power uh, locking. Um, by default, this is disabled. So when you hit your Ridgeline, turn that on if you want the tailgate to lock when you lock the Ridgeline with the fob. But um, actually, I was going to go to keyless access. There we go. I was like, where am I going to? Walkway auto lock is also standard on here as well. So nice touches to have this all on the sport. And you have system update, AM is back here, clock, Honda Link, you have Compass. And you can hold and drag and drop apps and customize it and kind of put everything where you want. But um, I like that Honda at least give you the bigger screen. Now, most uh, vehicles are going to big 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 inch displays. If you don't want a huge tablet and you want a screen that's built in into the dash, kind of like this, then you want something traditional, Ridgeline is the way to go. Because even your climate control, they are not on the screen. They're physical buttons. And you have a tri-zone climate control. So driver, whoever sits in the rear, and passengers can have three different temperatures, which is a nice touch. And this is still the base model. So I'm just, I love that you're getting all these goodies in this model. So you have your toggle for the driver, for the uh, passenger, you have sync, mode, fan speed, AC on and off, on and off for the whole system. You have auto climate control. You could turn off the rear climate control or go to RS settings and control how you want it to set back there. Front defrost and heated uh, back glass as well. And down below, you have some storage. I don't know what you're gonna put in there. Smartphones are too big nowadays. Maybe you have an older phone, some tissues, something like that. Also for 24, you get USB-C. Um, the 23 Ridge lines all had USB-A, so now you get USB-C and and you still get a USB-A, so you get both. If you want to plug your phone in for Apple CarPlay and your Auto, you do have to use the A, and the C is just for charging. You have a power outlet down here as well. And the center console is different for 24 versus 23, so you have the newer wireless, uh, wireless phone charging pad, and you get that in the Sport. Uh, previously, I think you had to get an RTLE to get a wireless phone charging pad. You have that fully loaded model to get this. Now, Honda just gives it to you. And this is wider so you can fit two phones because on the 23s, you're only able to fit one phone. It was a smaller cubby there. And here's your shift button for your nine speed automatic transmission. So you have park, I'm gonna hold the brakes for reverse. And because you have the nine inch, you do have the wider screen, no 360, but you do have a wide angle. You have a normal and you have looking directly down. And because you get blind spot on the sport, you also get cross traffic as well. So if someone is coming, it'll beep at you, let you know which way that car is coming from. Put that guy back in the park. You have neutral, you have drive. You also didn't put the transmission into a sport mode. Here's your uh, traction, I'm about to say traction control, but here's like your drive mode. If you push this guy, you can have sand, normal, snow, and mud, which Ridgeline had this previously, so you should be used to that already. And this is to turn off the auto stop feature that's standard on the Ridgeline. And the cup holders have been redesigned, so now they can fit bigger cups now as well. And I like that they didn't use uh, piano black in this middle part right here, because this is gonna age a lot better. Actually, this piano black around the screen, and that's it. Now, even this portion right here, usually they will throw some piano black on here. I like the material they use for the sport. And the armrest here, leather wrap and a soft touch. Open this guy up, it's a huge cubby. No um, pluggings, just a plastic mat down below, and that's pretty much it. Coming along to the glove box here, it is lockable, so that's nice. And it's not damped, so it just opens, but pretty spacious in here. And this comes with your uh, trailering and wiring and stuff like that as well, too. And we're gonna close that guy up. And uh, on the right side, same design, the seat. Actually, I didn't show you the driver's seat design too much, but you can see nice breathable material. Like I said, if you like cloth, you're gonna love this uh, model. Right above, no auto dimming rear view mirror. It's a traditional rear view mirror. 
and sunglass holder as well. And the interior lighting, they're um, not LED, regular bulbs. And let's see, in the visor here, you get a mirror, but you don't get a light, which is okay because this is a base model. This is why you're buying this model because you don't want too many features. Even though Honda's throwing in a lot of goodies for you, you may not want all these features. So we're gonna jump out of here and actually jump into the rear seats. And actually, before I do that, your uh, emergency brake is still pedal. So you still push it into engage and disengage. It's not like the pilot where you get the new button. You don't have the brake hold feature. Now, this is all season floor mats. Only the Trail Sport come with all season floor mats standard, but this model has a PPO package. So that's why it comes with the mats, but I'll show you guys that in a second and this guy as well too. But how about I unlock the door so I can get back there. There we go. That's how wide the rear door is open. And the Sonic Gray Pro, just a beautiful, especially on the Sport with the black, it just looks so good. Now, because this came with all season floor mats from Honda, very, we got, I gotta throw this box away. So let me get this thing out the way and kind of show you guys. So part of the, the PPO package, um, you have this new accessory now you can put on the back of the, underneath the seats when you have them folded up. They're like, um, like hooks, so you can hang all types of stuff there. But actually, I'm gonna fold it down so you guys can see. Drop that down real fast, and let's just get in the back seat. All right, so sitting back here, I do have the driver's seat all the way back, and I still have about an inch behind myself with the seat all the way back. So the Ridgeline is one of the class-leading cargo spaces in this uh, segment, because most of the trucks in this, the mid-size trucks don't have no space back here. So you do have headroom. Headliner is gray, by the way, on the Sport. And there's no moonroof. You have to get an RTL and up to get a moonroof. So the moonroof does cut into your headspace. So if you want the most headspace, the Sport is the way to go. Behind the driver, you have a map pocket. Behind the passenger, map pocket. You have air vents back here, no controls. I believe you have to go up to a black edition to get controls in the back. And you do have a power outlet back here, but there's no USB C's back here. You have to go to a higher model to get the USB C standard. But on the rear door, you do have uh, some storage, maybe for your smartphone, a smartphone holder. That's actually pretty cool. Cup holder. You can probably put a mug in here too, so that's nice. And let me actually open this up a little bit. Oh, child lock is on. Oh God, I was about to open this up, and the child lock is on. So hold on, let me let me let myself out real fast. I think it's on by a factory, or when the mechanics or test them test them on, they turn on the child lock. So now you know how to turn that guy on. So hard touch up here. Hard touch up there, soft touch on your elbow. You have a speaker down there, and that's pretty much it. You do get a armrest and cup holders here on the Sport with some additional storage, so that's actually really nice. Headrests do come pop up as well. These seats don't fold down forward, but you saw they fold up. So you pull up and voila. And you do have storage underneath, so even when the seats are down, you have that guy as well. That's how the, that's how the all season floor mat will look if you add that to your ridge line. So let's get back and take a look at the trunk. Let me close this all up. Look at the sun of gray though in the sun. What a beautiful color. Ever since the color came out on the Civic, Honda's been throwing the sun of gray on everything, but it looks really nice on the ridge line, especially on the Sport. I think it's not too much uh, gray. I actually really like it. So the tailgate is a dual hinge, so you can actually open it down like that it's not damp so it won't just slowly fall down it will just drop if you let it or you have release under here pull the button it'll open sideways as well that way you don't have to climb over the bed which is a nice feature to have the bed is already lined and you can see regular bolts on this guy i think the rt i think the black edition had led lights in the bed but you can open this guy up and look how deep that guy is so part of the PPO package, there's a cargo net that this comes with. It's a bed cargo net. But look how deep it is. And then this has the um, all-season tray you can put on the floor, but normally it will come just like this. And then you have a drain plug. You could drain something as well. Spare tire is a donut, but you still get spare tire. Slide that guy out with your jacks and tools. But look, like, I don't think you guys can see how deep this, I don't know how to even show you guys how deep this thing is. It's actually super deep. Like, if I hold this straight up, Yes, we see how deep. So you can hide all types of goodies in there. And you do get storage in here as well. If I can open it, there we go. All right, there you go. So just additional storage in there. If you get a Trail Sport or Black Edition, I think you get an actual power outlet in there as well. But RTL and Sport just will be storage. 
But yeah, one size bed, the wheel wells barely even get in the way, so you can fit a lot of wide things in here. And it's a very usable tailgate, and Honda give you a lot of accessories you can use to dress up your Ridgeline, but I definitely love this sport. All right, I was able to flip this guy around so we see the window sticker. So you can see a 24 Ridgeline all-wheel drive sport. Base price is $39,750. If you add Sonic Gray Pearl, you add in $455. So from Honda, when Honda built the Ridgeline, they added these accessories at the factory. So you can see a function package, which is bed cargo net, the tie-down hooks, Dorasil film, and all-season floor mats, and that's $490. If you bought a Ridgeline and you added those same accessories, it'll cost you more than $490 because you have to include labor and the dealership's cost and all types of stuff. But when you buy a Ridgeline that already has a PPO from Honda, you're saving labor and all types of money as well too. So with destination and handling, this comes down to $4290 only because of the color and you have that PPO package on there. But if you buy a Sport and Sonic Gray Pearl without this package, you're going to save $490. Now, from Honda, they added these door sills here. This is Ridgeline. You have the all-season floor mats. And I'll show you guys the hook that's on the underneath this guy right here as well too. So the orange hooks, that's accessories you can add. And then the in-bed cargo tray. And a package that we add onto our vehicles is called a protection package, which is wheel locks on all four rims, splash guards behind each um tire and that mat that's on the floor so that's something my originals will always have but because it's out of the ppo it has the additional cargo net the hooks and the seals that you saw in there we made it to the trim walk of the 2024 ridgeline so far the sport is just one of my favorite trim levels now it's just you get so much standard stuff it's like i don't know it's just like a no-brainer so all ridgelines will have the 3.5 uh liter v6 engine and it's not the refresh 3.5 that's in the pilot it's the 3.5 we've had in the previous pilot for like forever 280 horsepower 262 foot pound of torque you have the standard ivtm4 so this all-wheel drive system can split the torque between all four tires so each tire can be having its own set of torque it's actually a really nice all-wheel drive system it's not like the crv or the hrv where it's mostly front wheel drive and some power gets sent to the back and then more to the front. It's actually you can split between all four tires, which is really nice system to have. And I'm not going to sit here and go through this whole list. You guys can actually pause the video and read through it because the sport has all these standard goodies. Um, you have the nine speed. You do get a towing package, which comes standard with the heavy duty transmission cooler. If you buy a pilot or a passport and you want to tow up to 5,000 pounds, you actually have to get the towing package with the transmission cooler. The Ridgeline, the transmission cooler is very standard, so you're ready to tow 5,000 out the box. Remote start, you have, to, okay, so they are 18 inch shark gray alloy wheels, all season tires, and standard safety features all down here, tire pressure monitoring, really super nice. And then blind spot standard on the sport, because I think 23, I don't think 23 had blind spot. I don't know why I can't remember, so I'm having a brain fart. It's just late, it's late right now. Can't remember 23 years sport, but I don't think it had blind spots. So now you have that. You have auto high beams. I, I didn't mention that in the video. You know, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, um, the in-band trunk. Like, like there's so many. This the uh, trailer hitch with a seven-pin connector. You know, trunk bed lights. You get fog lights. I don't think the 23 sports had fog lights. Maybe it had. I don't know. Smart entry will walk with auto lock. Like, look at all these standard goodies that you're getting here. It's pretty crazy. And then you get the seven inch digital instrument cluster. So that's the new um, driver screen that you saw that's half digital, half analog. Right side is always going to be analog. And you get the nine inch touchscreen display, um, Honda Link. Why does Apple CarPlay and why does Android Auto? That's a game changer. That screen is a game changer. That whole thing is a game changer. That makes me like the interior even more on the 24, especially in the Sport. So let's jump in. Let's go build one. So here's all your four models here. You have the Sport, RTL, Trail Sport, and Black Edition. So RTLE was replaced by Trail Sport. Black Edition still Black Edition. RTL still RTL. Sport is still Sport. So we're going to jump in and build one. Now all-wheel drive is the only um, option, like I said before. And uh, what's power, how much you can tow, all that good stuff is on there. So looking at the design, if you go with black, so Crystal Black Pearl, or lunar silver metallic there is no premium price for those two colors but if you get platinum white pearl radiant red metallic 2 
or Sonic Gray Pearl, you do have to pay four fifty five more. Also, I believe Sport only have black interior. There's no other interior color. Yeah. So we're gonna jump on Sonic Gray because the color that we have, and then you have some wheel options. So you do have the eighteen inch HPD wheels. They look okay, but I I think I like the stock wheels better. Yeah, I think. And that's crazy. The stock wheels actually still look decent. Usually on a base model, stock wheels is kind of ugly. They're, they're pretty decent. So looking at the packages, so bleed these are the is these the PPOs? I think these are the PPOs. Yeah. So you have the function package, which comes. This is what the ridge line I have right now have. So utility hooks, all season floor mats, um, the trunk bed cargo net, and the door sill protection film. And that's straight from Honda. You save a lot of money because it's built in from Honda. There's no labor or nothing like that at all. You do have the Function Plus package, which gives you utility hooks, all season floor mats. Okay, so it gives you everything like I just showed you, but it also adds a Tanu cover in the back, which is nice. And then you have the HPD package, and then now there's two HPD packages. So this HPD package only is going to give you the HPD wheels. You get the HPD grill, which I love. I love the HPD grill. You get all terrain tires, interesting, and black wheel lug nuts. So if you don't want the stickers and stuff like that, like the plus does, because the plus is gonna give you um 18 inch shark gray machine alloy wheels, all terrain tires. You get the grill, or you get fender flares. Oh, you get the oil pan guard too. Oh, you don't get a sticker. Oh, they took off the sticker. That's crazy. The um 23 HBD had the HB sticker on there. I'm sure a lot of people complain about it or maybe no one bought it or no one they hated it. So they got rid of it. Interesting. Okay. But the old pan guard, that's nice that you can get that. You have the tailgate blackout package. That's different. That's new. So this will allow you to black rear ridge line emblem, gloss black rear emblem. Uh -uh. It's portrait only. Really? So let's actually click that. Let me see if they, will they show that how it looks. No. Of course they can't show it to you. The premium sport will be black. And where it says ridge line right here, it'll be in black. And then what was the other thing? Oh, and then the um Honda will be black too. That's nice. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. Actually, I believe I have a ridge line um at my dealership. That's I think someone added this package. I'm not mistaken. But you have the utility package, which come with crossbars and roof rails, and then you have the utility plus with crossbars, roof rails, and running boards. So for 24, they added a lot more PPO packages, which is interesting. So what it is, is because these accessory packages right here, this is what you can add at your dealership with the PPO package. When you, let's say you want a ridge line and you want to order one, your dealership can put in an order with any of these packages you know, from Honda. Like Honda can build it that way. Or sometimes it just comes in that way. Like, deal, like Honda would just give a dealerships and ridge lines and like three of them may have just a random package on it and they can have more than one package like you can have a ridge line with all these packages all in one it's actually pretty interesting how honda does it now but um this accessory package is what you can add on to the dealership so after you buy your ridge line you can get this added on at the dealership because these your dealership don't add these just honda add these so be a little bit confusing but you know kind of makes sense you have the adventure package which damn it's like five grand what this thing comes with a lot of stuff so you get the wheels sensors crossbars fender flares front grill front grill attachment black running boards and black roof rails okay so if you really want to dress up your ridge line you can throw in a bunch of stuff on there you have the all season protection package and i think this is what my ridge this is what we usually have in our ridge line um all season prote protection package too now the pricing for these accessory packages will vary because um, your dealership's labor is not included in here. And I think like um, uh, shipping and handling all types of stuff, like every dealership is gonna be gonna charge differently on top of this price, but these are the base price. And then it's gonna be on top of it. So if you go in and you wanna buy your rich line and you're like, why is this protection package not 380 is more than this because the dealership have their own, you know, their own pricing and blah 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 on top of like labor you guys get the point you, you see what i'm saying so you have a cargo storage package what so all right there's a lot of new things that honda's adding hard cargo area cover door sill protection film in bed trunk cargo dividers and rear under oh, okay gotcha yeah like like this is all new they have the hood protector crossbars black room 
far. And the 23s and beyond did have accessories you can add on. They just didn't have all these packages like Honda, like an outdoor essential package. Like I never heard of this. Crossbars, fender flares, black running boards, black roof rails. But that's actually pretty cool. Rugged utility package. And protection package. All right. So um, we're going to jump in to accessories. And that was just packages that we look at. We didn't even look at these standalone accessories. So on exterior, you have the bed extender you have for the motorcycle and one just a regular one. Oh, that's cool. Not sure the 23s have this. I think it just had the regular one. And okay, so here you go. So you see how you can have Honda blacked out there. That was part of that blackout package I was trying to show you guys. So you can get this black. You can get this um, blacked out as well. Let's see. Does it show it? No, it doesn't show it. Okay, it shows that, but it don't show the, the Honda. That looks cool. I like how that looks. And then you can get sport in black as well. So that's also part of the blackout package. I like the red sport badge though, but that's actually pretty cool. So you'd still have the option to add the HPD graphic, but I don't think it no longer comes standard with the HPD package. Now Honda, I guess giving you a choice if you want it or not. I've had a lot of customers that didn't like the stickers. I'm sure a lot of people complained that Honda was like, all right, we're not going to do this anymore. You have the HBD lower door trim, which comes down there. And you also have an HBD, uh, all right, let's get out of here. HBD mud flap. This is, I like this. I, I love this. If I had a Ridge line, I'll probably buy that. That looks cool. Like that looks way better than splash guards. Look at that. That is cool. I like that. And that's enough factory option. And then you have the oil pan guard is nice. And then you have the bike attachments, you know, body side molding. So these are some of your um, accessories that Ridgeline usually always have. Fender flares, Tanu hard car, hard cargo area cover. They don't call it a Tanu cover anymore. I wonder if they changed the name. But interesting. I love this HPD front grill. That's fire. That is fire. I'll probably have to get an HPD package. I don't know, but I like the I like these stock wheels though. But protect their kayak. Like, look how many accessories you can have for your ridge line now. It's crazy. So you have the splash guards. I ride the mud flaps over the splash guards. Look at that. You got a bed tent. That is fire. Look at that. Crazy. You can really dress this thing up how you want to. And that's just exterior. Let's look at interior. So you have the all-season floor mats. You have the utility hooks, which this is new. This got to be new for 24 because I don't remember 23 having it. And uh, hold up to 15 pounds. Okay. Spray presets make installation simple, blah, blah, blah. You have the door sill protectors. And then look at that for the in bed cargo tray. You have dividers, cargo tray. Um, you have the net. You have the carpet. You can put a carpet in there if you don't want the all season mat. Um, rear seat covers. That's nice. Under. So with the rear seat covers, maybe you can fold these seats forward. How you how they get the um. Does this cover the back of the seat too? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think 23s have that. Like I'm learning a lot right now, guys. Trunk bed, cargo net, and electronics. Let me see. So you can add, you can add backup sensors. So if you buy, because I think backup sensors are only on Trail Sport and Black Edition. So if you get the RTL on Sport, oh yeah, look, it says it right here. For an RTL, you can add this, but it's only for the rear though. It's not gonna be in the front like the um the R RTL, the Trail Sport and the Black Edition. And the welcome lights, that's nice too. I like that. All right, so let's just kind of, I showed you guys the window sticker already in the video, but just taking a look at this. Base price is $39,750. I'm recording this. This video is going to be out March 1st. So at March 1st, that's how much it is. Price may change if you're watching this video five months later, six months later, a year later. But Sonic Ray Pearl, $455 more. $13.95 for your destination handling. You're looking at $41,600. For the base model. Now, if you want the lowest price uh Ridgeline Sport, you will have to get either black or silver to save that 455. But for the money, I feel like you're getting a lot of truck. Like this is actually super nice. Like it's you know, it's a huge upgrade from the sport. And they change they ch they changed a lot, but not really a lot. But the changes they made was really needed. I didn't expect um, the 24. I knew it was going to be like small changes, but I didn't think they're going to do this much, especially in the black edition. The black edition, a lot of more uh, features is included in that now. But now with the sport, they really they really updated it. So I really like it. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. 
tell me what you guys think about the sport, the base model. Would you get one of this? Would you get a different model, trail sport, RTL, black edition? Or would you get a different color? Do you hate the ridge line? Do you love it? Um, and everything here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next walk around. Thank you.